Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How do you start your day? I don't start my day every morning by bringing up trash. Guys, how do you start your day? I'm going to tell you how I start my day. I start my day by praying every day. I mean, I get on my knees every day and pray. But when, I, when I'm in my bed, I pray. How you start your day? Guys, look at the sunrise. Look at the sunrise. Can't get no better than that. At least you wake up to see a sunrise. I am on my way to Anguilla via St. Martin. And guys, today was crazy trying to get into the airport. <laughs> the lines was probably 400, 500 people long. But I travel light so I can always get past everyone because I really just travel with a bag, a backpack. So it is crazy today. It is brutal today, but I'm on a mission. And my gimbal don't work this morning, fully charged. But I'm not gonna let that deter me. We're going to paradise. I am actually in Fort Lauderdale right now. The lines is to the street. And um, as you can tell, look how many people here. A lot of people. So guys, a subscriber just walked up to me. And um, I guess he had an interesting take on the Africa saga, for lack of a better word. But um, I guess I'm not used to people walking up to me and um, talking to me. Um, about the YouTube thing, but times have changed. So I really appreciate him. And as a matter of fact, he's going to St. Martin right now too. So I would make sure he have a good time. And guys, uh, this 24 hour, 24 hour challenge, I'm not scared, but um, people is really trying to push me to the limit even thinking about no water so either way I will survive I will deal with it and um, let's see where it goes from here
Do you believe in coincidences? The reason why I ask? I caught a flight to this flight to St. Martin and I actually have to do a voiceover because it's so loud in the plane and someone is coughing ridiculously. She asked me if I believe in coincidences and for the record she do not want her face on camera um, and I respect that. So when she asked me that question I was a little puzzled I smiled trying to gather my thoughts real quick and she said before I actually even say anything she said you don't remember me and I said no she said back in April 2023 this year me and she sat in the same two seats she sat in the middle I sat at a window and I said I don't remember you she said you won't because I was like 20 she said 28 pounds heavier so she was on her way to St. Bart's for a wedding her wedding via St. Martin so when she asked me that I was like really really intrigued because I did not recognize her so so we let that as it is and I was looking out the window so she said are you intrigued by the height are you intrigued by the clouds I said I am intrigued about the clouds so she said tell me something interesting about a cloud and I'll tell you something interesting about the flight I said how fast you think a cloud can travel she, of course she didn't know and I told her a cloud can travel at an average speed of 100 miles per hour guys that is ridiculously fast that's hurricane fast <laughs> strength wind and um, I also told her I said do you know some clouds is 1 million pounds up to 1 billion with a B and she was like wow I didn't realize that I said yeah so she went on to tell me okay so why do people pay for a first class seat I said because they want the convenience the comfort but she was like but do you realize if the plane crash they will die for us and I was a little puzzled and I was like she's right because the back of the plane is really the safest the safest place on that plane so I'm like okay she's right so the cheaper flight is safer the safest place on the plane the most expensive flight or I should say a ticket is the worst place on the plane hmm. I just thought that was very intriguing what you're looking at is St. Thomas Virgin Islands and these are the islands leading to St. Martin so that was a very interesting um, conversation but guys, do you believe the earth is round? My, perf my thinking is the earth is opalate. It's oval. What do you guys think? I landed in Princess Juliana I welcome to the morning Princess Juliana Martin. Airport. I should the local say local time is 2.36 p.m. St. Martin. And guys, I know you're ready to go, but please remain seated. We should go fasten and carry our mat of snow until the aircraft comes to so a complete stop at the gate and the captain turns off the fasten table sign. Please just Good morning, so guys, when I travel to St. Martin, the only way I go is the VVIP. And, um, you will see the service here in St. Martin, top notch. And um, when you guys come to St. Martin, I'm going to give you a telephone number. and. Um, there is a price with it, but the convenience, and once you see how many people in line, you will say it's worth it. Check it out, guys. I am using a gimbal, so it's not cooperating today. You will see 
fast track all the way avoiding the lines see where the line stop so I think I'm gonna go here by Kenny Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. Hey, I'm Kenny. How are you doing? Good, good. What's Everything up? good? Good. All right. That's all on. You alone? Yeah, yeah. Come, let me get you. Priscilla, she's over there. She's over there? Okay. Excuse me. So, guys, I am fast tracked. And I look at all the lines. What's up, bro? You good? Okay. Yes, man. Okay, um, look at look at all the people. Guys, I'm fast track. I skip all those lines. Skip all those lines. So all the way to the front. Yes guys, yes guys, yes guys. Guys, coming to St. Martin. I just spoke to I'm I'm gonna give you the real information, but when you come to St. Martin I come right through. You see the lines that is there? I don't have to wait on those lines, guys. And you can too. You can skip all those lines with the VVIP. So guys, so I'm gonna give you a, the gist of what's gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna catch the boat to Angola um, tomorrow. And I am going to go. And uh, I think Vernon is gonna take me, kill it. All the four items I'm going to be taking uh, my tent, a knife. Um, hey, no, I'm um, sorry, I got distracted. A friend of mine, um, a tent, a knife, two cups of water, and um, what else? I forgot. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sorry guys. Um, someone was distracting me. Uh, okay, so it's a tent, a knife, a uh, fishing line with a hook. Okay, I'm recording. Yeah. Give me one second, guys. Okay, okay, thanks. Okay, this is the third time, it's a charm. A tent, a knife, a fishing line, a hook, and um, what is this? Two cups of water. I'm recording. Give me one second. Um, yes, guys. So that is what it's gonna be, and um, I really should probably go in the sun, but um, I can smell the the jet fuel, the fumes, and um, right here. So it comes around. So that's where the jet spark right here. So I don't want to be inhaling those fumes. But regardless. But um, yes guys, so that's what's gonna happen. I am going to uh, get on the boat. The boat is a 30 minute ride. And um, if I feel like all the water gonna spill, I'm gonna just drink it. Because I'm not gonna let the water waste. Gimbal is not working. So um, everyone's saying that I'm stupid for not taking fire. Guys, I'm a survivalist. I'm an Angolian, resilient. Um, <laughs> I will find something to make fire. There's wood there, uh, there's plastic, there's glass, and um, I'll make fire. So whatever fish I teach, catch, I will be eating, that depends. Some fish I don't like, but um, I can show I can be self-sustainable. And guys, um, actually that may be my ride in the back there. Actually, that is my ride. So, guys, I'll see you. See you shortly. Guys, look at the VIP service. Look good at afternoon, the Mr. Webster. Good Welcome afternoon. To good, afternoon. good afternoon. Priscilla, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How you doing? This is the causeway coming off the airport guys look the harbor 
Look at the boats. Look at the yachts. Let me zoom in on those yachts. Those are mega million dollar yachts. As a matter of fact, there goes a plane rising right now. Look how clean the water is. This is the causeway guys. Saint Martin. I'm gonna give you some very interesting facts about Saint Martin. Beautiful. The weather here is to die for. This is the causeway. And I'm gonna turn around so the sun can see my pretty face. But yes guys. I'm gonna tell you one of the most intriguing things about St. Martin. St. Martin is split up between two territories, French and Dutch. And back in the day, you remember watching a Western movie and two of them is sitting back to back, or standing back to back. And they walk away a certain amount of steps and they turn around and shoot each other. That's the way St. Martin was named. The French and Dutch came to agreement the Treaty of Concordia back on March 23rd, I believe, 1648. And guys, that's the way they did it. The Frenchman and the Dutchman stand up back to back and they walk away from each other. They walk away from each other and that's how St. Martin was named. The French guy walked the furthest. I think he, he walked 58 uh, kilometers. And I think the Dutch walked 32. They couldn't run. They couldn't run at all. And um, the Dutch is blaming the French that that day that his guy ran. That's why they made up that much distance. So that is a true fact. That's the way St. Martin was actually named. That is crazy. So two gentlemen walk away from each other and whoever walked the furthest got the most land. And French, France got the most land. So Dutch, you Dutch out. <laughs> so this here is the roundabout to the Princess Juliana International Airport. And um, you can see on both sides. Right now, the bridge is down because that yacht is going through. So you can see traffic over there, built up or backed up. But well, this is the Dutch side of St. Martin. And I think it's spelled S-I-N-T-M-A-A-R-T-E-N. -A -A -E Guys, the highest elevation in St. Martin is 1,391 feet above sea level. Incredible. Look, look at that piece of rock up there. <laughs> them damn dogs in the house and go look at the world guys so St. Martin is actually located between two islands the most beautiful island there is the most beautiful island there is Anguilla St. Martin is south of Anguilla and actually northwest of St. Bart's or St. Bartholomew I don't know how people I just say St. Bart's and St. Bart is a beautiful country. There's a jet just came in. A France. It's a huge jet. It seems like there's at least 15, 12 to 15 flights right now um, that is in town. But, um, yes, guys. So I'm going to. As the days goes by, I will give you a lot more interesting information about St. Martin and also the services you can get in St. Martin when you come into St. Martin. VIP straight through the airport, shuttle to and from Airbnbs. And guys, I'm gonna put a number down in the description. My actual ride is supposed to come pick me up shortly. 
And I just, that's the reason why I'm turning around to see when they show up. Because again, I should not be stopping traffic in the roundabout. But traffic is backed up right now because there was a few yachts went by so they opened up the bridge. So, and it's hot, it is hot. It is commonly said that Christopher Columbus discovered St. Martin November 11, 1493. Really? <laughs> On his second voyage. Really? Christopher Columbus. Guys, look at his yacht. Look at this yacht. Lovely. And right over here. Look at these yachts. Uh, I should say hotels. Hotels on the ocean. That is lovely. Yes, guys, we are at Peak Paradise in French St. Martin. And I was just shuttled up here to the VVIP. Big up to Shaquilla, Priscilla, Haley Aviation. Guys, this is beautiful. Look at the greenery. This is the tallest peak in St. Martin at 1,391 feet. There's a shuttle down here. And you can see the yachts. I'm going to zoom in. These are incredible yachts. There's another one there hidden. Guys, this is the harbor. Yes, guys, this is the money shot. Peak paradise. This is incredible. My blood pressure just dropped. Hey guys, the temperature up here, it's so cool and refreshing. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Look at that, guys. Guys, we are here at Charlie's restaurant. Look at the oxtail. Plant. Vegetables. Look at the coleslaw. Look at my friends. She has a provision. Wow, that looks incredible. Look at this one here. Look at it go. Guys, I haven't tasted yet, but I'm going to show sure mash it up. This is the Airbnb in St. Martin. Guys, right now, this Airbnb does not have a name. And I need you guys to help to name this. As you can see, the on the over, the harbor, airplane right there. Yes, guys, I wanna give you a little tour, you got your little bistro seating and this is gonna have a lot of work done to it but as of right now this is the villa in St. Martin nice living room Wi-Fi throughout little kitchen little kitchenette full refrigerator oven gas store guys there you have it your sink you have your dishwasher and right here to the left there's a half bathroom and a closet so technically this is a three bedroom right now we're only using two bedrooms but you have this a washroom this could be a garage I can turn over into a third bedroom very cozy and all the rooms have air conditioning. Here goes the steps. Look at these steps going up, 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 and away. 
and going with the curvage. Yes, guys, this villa does not have a name. There goes the giraffes. Look at that. This is the first bedroom. Very big room. And you also have a closet right here behind the mirrors. Ceiling fans, air condition. And I'm not gonna show you the view yet. I'm gonna show you the view in the other room. So guys, what we need, we need your help naming this villa. Here goes another bathroom. Clean. Here goes another bathroom with a shower. Actually, let me show you. Very up to date. Very up to date. And this is the bedroom that everyone seeks. Also, another closet here. Fans in each room. A condition. A condition, guys. There's a grand finale here. There's a window over here. And there's a door here to a little patio. And guys, this is the view. This is the view. If you see over here in the distance, that's the airport. This is the causeway over there. I will zoom in. There's the causeway over here. But guys, I need a name. I need you guys to come together and say, hey, you see what this is all about. This is a beautiful, beautiful area in St. Martin. Look at the harbor. So what I need is you guys to come together and throw some names. I want to name this villa. I want to name this villa in the next week, guys. So let's get creative. Let's get creative and um, come up with some cool names. And um, whoever come up with the coolest name, we can do something very, very, very special for you. So guys, join me. My YouTube channel is I am Stefan. That's S-T-E-P-H. Let's get it on, guys. And Marigot. Some say Marigot. Angolians, we call it Marigot. That's the way I was brought up knowing. So I'm just walking through the market, the local market. And um, I'm actually heading to Anguilla right now. So the boat actually just now left, but I'm gonna grab something to eat. But in the meantime, guys, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I am Stefan, S-T-E-P-H. Guys, let's get it on. I'll show you the harbor. And Angola is literally behind those yachts. Very high end yachts. You can see at a distance.
welcome, welcome, welcome to Anguilla. We are currently in Long Point, Anguilla. This is the entry port, the seaport, to right next to St. Martin, and you can see ground. That is St. Martin in the background, guys. Just, uh, just got off the boat. 20 minute boat ride. 20 minute boat ride. 30 US dollars. And we're here in the beautiful Anguilla, Rainbow City. As you can see, the new terminal in the back here. Welcome to Anguilla. The journey begins. Look at our tranquil waters. When one boat arrives, another is about to depart. Look, our unspoiled water. Man, this boat you see in the background is a diamond one that's about to depart. Here we are, the terminal. Guys, this is the new terminal. This is Blong Point Beach. Look at our un spoil waters i am so proud of anguilla mm, mm, mm. long point ferry guys three dolphins guys welcome to anguilla this is the way we do it